Hi everybody, it's MJ and I'm back with my Friday video. And welcome back everybody. And thank you for those that stopped by and paid me a visit. I appreciate each and one of you. Okay, so we left off uh, last Friday when I covered the front uh, for my journal cover and then the back and I said I was going to finish the back cover and I did I covered the back and the front I mean the back part and the inside part um, I did get some glue there I don't know if you can see because it's kind of getting dark um, I'm filming on Thursday night guys because Friday I'm like, remember I mentioned last week I was going to go house-sit my sister. So I thought I'd do a quick video for Friday. So, happy Friday. But anyways, as I was saying, um, some of the uh, fabric track or fabric glue kind of seeped through. Um, so there's, you can, I don't know if you can see it. It's not super noticeable, but uh, some of it came through there. So you, with the burlap, you have to be really careful not to overdo with the glue. And I guess I did on that corner there for some reason. But anyways, oops, I just knocked my lamp here. Poor thing. I just slapped you silly. Sorry. And if you remember, I said I didn't like that you could see the white in the inside. So I went ahead and got some of this cotton crochet trim. Um, it's probably about a half inch in width. So I cover the inside of it so that you don't see the white cardboard I, because I had nothing planned last Friday as how I was going to go about covering the front and making the window and all that. But um, I kind of I like, like the simplicity, but I do want to add a little bit of more embellishment to the front cover and... I thought I printed some um, I did start uh, videotaping this and then oh never mind it was just like not what I um, planned but I have these um, thin die cuts to cut um, twigs out of it and then I thought well why don't I use real twigs? So then I went to my backyard and I cut me, uh, cut me uh, a twig and I cut it in half. It's, they're not very big. Now I was thinking um, maybe I should cut one a little bit smaller so they're not both the same, um, oops, same length. These are my uh, heavy duty scissors that I can use for cutting boxes and whatever so then I thought um let me put this up higher so I'm not out of frame so I thought well what if I um put the twigs first my original thought was I had this mushroom and on the the video that I first um started to view the tape it was printed one side so then i thought well if i put like a mushroom there and some um some of the um uh, cheesecloth that i spray painted with the uh, distress inks i thought i you know put that but then when i turned around you could see all you know the white the back part of the mushroom so then i went ahead and i stopped the video and um and then i also thought well what if i do this the twig and then put a bird there i do like the bird really but then i said oh you can see the back part of the bird so i print i print it too you know and i re reverse the uh, the side of the the uh, of the bird so it's double sided so then i thought well now you you know if i put it there if the bird shows you're not going to see the white part of the uh, the bird but 
then I changed my mind. So then I thought if I get these twigs and then put them here and then tie it with this. I think I like the green, or should I use the beige, the cream color? Well, what if I use both? So, um, where's the end on this one? Where's the start? how much I'll need. I don't need a lot, but I need enough so that I can tie it well. So then I thought, I'm going to cut this even a little bit smaller. Because I want one smaller than the other. So then I thought in my main frame, I thought if I tie this, Sorry guys, I haven't really thought this out either. So please bear with me. So then I thought, of course, I'll double knot this. And then I don't know if I have to use it too loud. And I put that like that, and then I thought I put some um, some of this. Kind of wrap it around. I don't know. Let's see. And I did have a butterfly cut out, but I don't know what happened. It kind of disappeared on me. And then, how about if I put some of this too? What do you think? Let me see. Just a tad. Tie this around. And then tie it. I don't know. I don't know how quick of a video this is going to be because I craft very, rather slow. So I apologize for those that don't like long videos. <clears throat> so I thought if I put that there like that and put a butterfly. I remember I saw a butterfly earlier and Oh, well, I have these that I bought at uh, Hobby Lobby and Clearance. Maybe something will work since I can't find my butterfly. Oh, here's a butterfly. Should I do a blue one? Yeah, I think the blue one will look like this one. Just 
Decision, decision. This is pretty, isn't it? I wish you guys could tell me. Of course, we all have different ideas, don't we? So I think I need to trim this off just a tad. What do you think, guys? I think I need to trim this off. This and then add the butterfly. Like so. I kind of like that. What do y'all think? I'm not going to overthink it and I'm going to go for it. The only thing is I'm going to have to pause it because I forgot to grab my glue and I'm at a different spot. So hold on guys, sorry. I'm back. I'm going to use Fabric Fix, which is, you know, Fabric Tech, another name. They change the names, I think, uh, depending on uh, what store they're selling it at. This one is at, I bought it at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so anyways, um, one of my viewers, and I can't remember her name, and I apologize. She said that, um, that I can glue plastic with this. Oh, well, it says here, bonds, fabric, glaze, leather, trims, and more. So, and, uh, so, okay. I thought it was just for fabric. Guy okay, learns... It sure helps read, huh? So I'm going to put plenty of glue. Hello? No glue? Why don't I have glue? So I'll put that there. Then I'll put some glue here because I want to make sure it stays I don't know if it's showing up really well because of the lighting the lamp do you guys like that I kind of like it I didn't want the embellishment to be uh, over the top because I wanted to keep keep this um, rather simple and I didn't want it to compete with my window so I think that's staying Rather please, so I'm thinking maybe should I put another butterfly up here? I think I will. So the three focal points, one, two, and three. 
Okay. Well, it's a short video for for Friday. We're just finishing the uh, the cover, embellishing the cover. Um, so I'm gonna let that dry, set it aside, and I wanted it. I was playing around uh, yesterday. I wanted to make some tags, and I wanted to see if I decoupage. Use um, I use a Lean's Tacky Glue. This one I, I use. It was um drying up because I've had it for a while so I added some water so I diluted the glue a bit so now you can hear it you know tacky glue doesn't sound like that <laughs> it's rather uh, thick so I added some water um, to dilute it to kind of um, give it the the um, the, the texture of um, uh, decoupage glue and um, I don't have, I do have decoupage glue, however, uh, here in the desert, it doesn't dry. Don't ask me why. And it's a dry desert, but it doesn't dry. It gets sticky to the touch. Or, or if you glue, put something else, it'll, it'll glue on. Trust me. I did some ornaments my daughter and I did several years back. And we thought, oh yeah, they feel dry. So we stacked the ornaments and the next day we went and they were or two or three days when we were ready to decorate our christmas tree they were all glued on together we couldn't take them apart so we end up throwing them away all that work for nothing um anyways going back to um so i was playing around um collaging here a little bit i do want to put a word um, to see if it would stay um, and it did because I was thinking well maybe I should put a film um, a tissue paper or so that it doesn't but you know it, it, I, it looks like it's holding on pretty well so we'll see so uh, on my next video my next Friday I'm going to work on tags and I have some other ideas that um on how to preserve your press flowers and making tags with them so stay tuned next friday and yeah this is not finished yet i was just this is kind of like my prototype i do need to kind of stain it a bit and all that it's a little too white but that's it guys sorry it's a short one because i'm gonna be gone um friday and over the weekend um I'm going over to my sister's um, place to house sit her house and dog sit all of her big five dogs. But okay, so that's it. Um, thank you for joining me and keep on crafting, guys. And I'll see you next Friday. Take care. God bless you guys.